Hey there everyone, if you're new to the channel, welcome, and if you're a subscriber, welcome back. Today we're going to do a comparison between these two Robo Rock brushes, and many of you may not know that they make two different types of brushes. Um, the newer one is here on the top, and the older one is here on the bottom. So the older one came standard in the Robo Rock S5 robot. And then when they released the S6, they released it with an upgraded brush, which we'll show you here in a minute. Um, and it also came in the Robo Rock S4. The reason I'm doing a review on these is because I've had many people tell me that the older brush actually works better at picking up on carpet than the newer brush does. So let's take a look at the construction here real quick and see for ourselves if we can see any visual differences between the two. All right, so here we are again with both brushes. And the older one is on bottom, the newer one is here on top. Uh, so both of these sell on Amazon. Uh, you can buy them. This is the beginning of January 2020, and you can buy both of these right now on Amazon. The older one's actually more expensive at $28.95, and the newer one is a bit cheaper by 6 bucks at $22.95. So uh, you would think you would get the newer one and the cheaper one. Uh, but again, today we're going to figure out what the differences are and whether or not you should buy the older one or the newer one. Let's start by unboxing the old one here. And as you pull it out, it looks just like the roller brush you might be used to if you have one of these robots. Now the ends do not remove on these at all. So if you get hair tangled around the edges here, that's going to be a problem and it's going to be issue trying to get hair out between the rubber here in this plastic end roller. Uh, other than that, I can tell you by having an S4 myself that this rubber part right here that's to be used on the floor uh, to help clean up on floors is more orange than the brush that comes with the S4. Now this brush came standard on the S5 once again. This is the one that they shipped with the S5. Um, so there's that. Let's get into the newer one. This is the one that ships with the S6 and the S4, the S4 is the one I have. And the ends on these do remove. You can just simply twist them off. Uh, one end comes off with a little plastic uh, piece here that's black. That's what spins on the other end of the axle here for the roller brush. And this one just simply comes off like that. So if you have S5, this might be new to you. Now, I imagine you can use this in any of them. I'm going to use uh, both of these brushes in my S4. So I imagine these are all interchangeable. So looking at these two real, real closely here, you can see, uh, and I've already examined these out of the box. One of the first things you can see is the bristle count on the new one, which is the one with the red rubber here is a lot denser than the old one. If you can see that here on camera, let me get you real close here. You can see that there's definitely more bristles um, throughout here. You can see that really well there, and especially in the middle. I've taken measurements of these brushes and they're all the same. The rubber part here, the orange versus the red, the dimensions are the same, the dimensions of the brush are the same. That's the one thing, the height of the bristles is the same. Um, the only difference that I can see visibly is that there are more bristles on the newer one, which you would think would make it clean better. Uh, looking inside the boxes, this is the new one, and this is the old one. You can see some differences in the cleaning tools. These are the tools used to cut hair off the roller brushes and also help clean your robot. Um, the new one comes with a longer brush with bristles, actual bristles, whereas the wider one on the old one comes with these little fork style teeth, kind of like a comb. Uh, both of the razor blade ends are fairly similar with this one being a little bit wider in the opening because the uh, piece itself is wider. So those are the differences uh, between the old and the new clean tool, really nothing to write home about except for the ends. I'm not sure which one of those will be more effective. So we're gonna run these through some tests and figure out which one is actually better at cleaning on carpet and on floor. Stay tuned. For the first series of tests, I started with testing the brush rollers on carpet. For this test, I chose to use exactly 40 grams of Fruity Pebble cereal spread evenly in the center of the testing area. The carpet was shampooed and vacuumed prior to the testing. For a baseline, I ran the S4 without a roller brush and on the standard vacuum power 
which was only able to pick up 16 out of the 40 grams of cereal placed in the test area. All right, now on to the fun stuff. I ran a total of two tests on standard power with both the old style and the new style brush roller. And they both did equally well, picking up an average of 38 out of the 40 grams of the cereal, which resulted in 58% more pickup ability over the baseline test without a roller brush. For the floor test, I chose to use 80 grams of quality cat litter. In my house, I have three cats who love to scatter cat litter everywhere, and I use the Roborock to help keep it off of my floors. So for me, this is a valid test. Okay, now for the test. I mopped and vacuumed the floor before and between each test. I spread the cat litter evenly inside the center of the blue taped off area. I ran a baseline test with no roller brush on both the lowest vacuum setting and the highest. And in both tests, the Robo Rock was not able to pick up any of the cat litter. Following the baseline test, I ran a series of four tests for each of the roller brushes. Again, each test was run using eight, 80 grams of cat litter. So for the results, the old style brush roller with the non-removable ends averaged 39 grams while the new brush roller picked up an average of 44 grams of cat litter. I was curious to see if increasing the vacuum speed to max power would make a difference and while the pickup ability for both roller brushes increased, the new roller brush beat out the old one by picking up 60 grams versus 54 grams with the old brush. So. Which one of these should you be putting in your Roborock? Which one should you choose? I started this test out with a question because several people had mentioned to me that the old style roller brush, the one with the non-removable ends, actually worked better on picking up on carpet and tile. That's the reason why I started this video because I wanted to put that rumor to the test. And I did and I found out the one you should buy is the new style. The one with the removable ends, the one with the red and the removable ends, it's cheaper, it works better, and it's a lot easier to clean. And with more bristles on the brush, you can't really go wrong with that. So with that, I appreciate you watching this video. If you like this kind of content, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like this video, and also share. I appreciate everyone taking their time to watch this. We'll see you in the next one. Take it easy out there. Bye-bye.